Hello and welcome to another Instagram live from IECL. Um, today I'm going to be speaking with our lovely relationship manager Holly and just waiting for her to join. So let's see if we can add Holly to this conversation. I can see you already on there Holly so let's add you on. Hello, Hello. there you are. <laughs> Welcome, how are you? Thank you. Very well in sunny Melbourne. How are you? Sunny Melbourne. That's a nice change. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm not jinxing it. <laughs> Sydney's actually not too bad either. There are some clouds scattered around, but it's not too bad. <laughs> Holly, nice to have you. Thank you so much for your time for our second session. Um, just talking about the skills of the future and how IECL coach training programs really help organizations and leaders, you know, post this very challenging few months that we've had. So really excited to be talking to you to, um, I guess, explore a little bit further around the impact of our coach training programs and so on. Um, so I guess I just wanted to sort of start by um, building a bit of a context. In a recent IECL coaching effectiveness report, it was highlighted that leaders and organizations are looking to have higher engagement with their teams, given the virtual settings. And obviously, um, it, obviously that whole virtual settings when you don't have that personal connection brings with it a whole host of challenges. And, you know, they're really looking to be able to increase confidence, you know, enhance uh, performance by, I guess, creating a more effective culture, one that really nurtures quality and effective conversations. So, you know, the ICL report highlighted these very critical things that organizations and leaders are looking for. So, in essence, we've got a glimpse or, a, or an overview of what the organizations are looking for. And one of the biggest things is that in 2021, they're looking to emerge a lot stronger uh, post the pandemic and what that has, the kind of impact that has, has had on the organizations. Given that, you know, this new normal post-2020, no one knows what it's going to look like. So I guess what I would love to start this conversation on is what you think is the utmost important um, or why is it most important to you know reskill the workforce now in preparation for 2021 yeah well what i'm hearing um particularly in this time of disruption and recalibration is that all leaders are needing support to rethink the future and it's such a powerful way to do that just by adding coaching skills to their toolkit and I guess the reason being um, having the skills of a coach enables effective achievement of strategic goals and it's done through improved performance of individuals and then teams within that organisation which is clearly as you mentioned a must-have for current and also emerging leaders. And also, as you'd imagine, there has been such a number of studies around this topic recently. It's really a buzz area. And from analysing the research that was conducted by McKinsey, um, which was back in May this year, we've identified that workforces are needing to really focus on three key areas, um, being the development of cognitive skills, so for problem solving, also creativity and innovation and we know that the workforce needs to strengthen social and emotional skills to really ensure that effective collaboration happens and this is particularly across the remote teams that have emerged at the moment um, and this is where the level one organizational coach training can help individuals to start to develop or perhaps refine um, the impactful skills such as adaptability and resilience um, and they enable leaders to thrive yeah and it's it really adds an edge. It helps to enhance the self-awareness and that um, confidence piece. And um, I'd also like to share that after the program, um, you know, people are curious, are you, are you left sort of high and dry with these uh, the skills that you've just um, learned and adapted? Um, but our alumni are really ready to hit the ground running. And this comes back to IE's 
the ACL's um, experiential approach to learning. So what we've loved seeing particularly at the moment is our graduates enabling leaders to really use the complicated experiences of 2020 as a source of learning, um, just cultivating those qualities of awareness and vulnerability and empathy um, to really allow for a successful new year. So I think it's the perfect time to start investing in your future if you haven't already. Absolutely. I think as you rightly said, there is now a mountain of data, research, that's really highlighting the fact that, you know, leaders and organizations in this world really need to take a coaching approach to leadership. Um, I was reading a, an article by Harvard Business Review where they talk about, and I might just read this so I actually get it, um, I don't want to paraphrase it, they, they basically say, according to the recent research, the single most important managerial competency that separates highly effective managers from average ones is coaching. They go on to say, taking a coaching approach will build stronger bonds between you and your team members, support them in taking ownership over their own learning and help them develop the key skills they need to perform at their peak. And then they go on to say, and it also <laughs> So, you know, what you were just talking about, you know, it, it enhancing self-confidence, you know, self-awareness, to really build adaptability and resilience. Absolutely, you know, there are mountains of research and data that they talk about. These are really, really critical. What this pandemic has highlighted is that we need our teams, we need our organizations to be highly resilient, highly adaptable to an ever-changing environment. We've never experienced this level of change as we have in the past 12 months. So in a nutshell, how will coach training help individuals to arm themselves and teams with the skills and strategies, not only survive, but to prosper for better performance? Big question. <laughs> I'm gonna keep coming back to the research because I just love um, evidence-based you know, using that data, um, but also from, um, you know, touching base with the 7,500 alumni that we have and hearing their testimonials too um, adds a lot of weight. Um, but yeah, coming back to um, the reviewing of the coaching effectiveness studies, um, we can really confidently say that our training programs will help leaders to empower and enhance leadership function, create high performance in the complexity um, I've touched on um, increasing resilience in the well-being, but facing fears and anxiety, um, which means that you'll be able to embrace that uncertainty and also build um, or foster feelings of hope, manage the dynamics of the relationships with, within the organisations and have more quality conversations, which um, then lead to better outcomes and help you to manage stakeholders more effectively. So um, in brevity, Overall, um, you would be helping to lead, empower, and engage the whole team for a better business performance. Love that. I guess the other aspect to considering doing embarking on any, any kind of coach training programs, you know, post pandemic, obviously, this crisis has had some economic, you know, implications as well. You know, if um, when it comes to making investments, whether it's personal development or professional development. We know that people are becoming a lot more deliberate around where they're investing um, in their personal development and where they're allocating their budget. Um, how do you find that this has impacted our coach or, or demand for our um, organizational coaching programs? Yeah, it's it's super interesting watching the trends and um, just what's happening across all um, industry sectors at the moment. But we've noticed exponential growth, um, certainly within the organisational coaching area. Um, it's gaining momentum, particularly in, I'd say, the L&D space. There's just lots of opportunities, um, people seeking to formalise their skill set um, from a theoretical base and receive credentials in order to have that edge in the marketplace. And to give you a bit of an inside, I'm going to share some of the um, stats. Um, so we've realised just from analysing our own um, membership profiles, we know that 20% are starting out as a coach, so it's a fresh new career path for them, which is great. 22% identify as a leader as a coach. 
23 are established, so they sort of, I guess, fit into um, those uh, coaches that are already very successful in, in the organisational um, coaching realm, um, but they're wanting to formalise. Only 7% are internal coaches, or you might have heard the term agile coach being thrown about, um, and then 28% are within that L&D, learning development or HR space. Yeah. That's interesting. But I guess, you know, developing, looking at the research and what you've shared and, you know, what I what I've sort of um, highlighted from Harvard and other as well is that, you know, having those coaching skills, even at an individual level, is just a skill that stays with you for a life. You know, if, if it empowers you to become a lot more resilient, a lot more adaptable, it sounds like whether you take a prof to your professional sort of um, settings or just as an individual, who doesn't want to be more resilient? You know, who doesn't want to be more agile and adaptable? Who doesn't want to increase and enhance their performance? Who doesn't want to sort of empower the people that they have conversations with, to have really high elevated conversations and create that sense of ownership and empowerment? So whether you're behind I mean, those categories that you've just stipulated or not, it's, yeah. you know, it's a must have for life that will only enhance every experience. I think it's on the Christmas wish list for everyone. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Holly, I wonder just to summarise, um, in terms of our coach training programs, what, were, what can people expect to walk away with at the end of um, each training module, if you like? Yeah. So coach training is our absolute pedigree. It's our bread and butter. And um, our coach training suite will just help you to develop the core skills um, of exceptional leaders. So empowering and enabling um, organisational performance. And through coaching, leaders can empower their people and also help them to lead happier and more um, engaged teams, drive growth and also change to achieve those better business results. So after the level one coach training certification, uh, which is Australasia's most highly respected ICF accredited course um, or organisational coach qualification. Um, you can then look to take that coaching approach to your leadership or alternatively the other route you can take is to be a professional coach. So wherever you're at with your journey, um, the accredited coach training suite can help with that. So um, just to touch on and reiterate our objective is to encourage participants to pause positively value change and diversity and to provide participants with, um, I guess, the tools and also the language um, to use as they work together in managing those changes and just ultimately foster a culture of learning and care. And um, I think the coaches that walk away from our programs, um, they're supported with an alumni cohort of almost 8,000. Um, they've got access to the membership program and that provides a coaching practice roadmap, also ongoing um, education events and um, essentially a supportive learning journey that can see you through from the certification level all the way to full accreditation. So it doesn't stop at the end of the three days, you know, you're, the access to the alumni, the networking event, that ongoing support, you know, it's just the name of you. It's not just that you do your training, hit the training, pop it on the shelf, you're not done. There is it's not transactional. Kind of being part of that community and always tapping into that support whenever you need. I like to think of us as a massive family of 8,000. <laughs> <laughs> we are a massive family of 8,000. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, there we have it, folks. If your job involves leading others, the implications are really clear. The most important you can do each day is to help your team members experience progress at meaningful work. To do this, we really need to understand what drives each person, help build connections between each person's work and the organization and strategic objectives provide timely feedback, and help each person learn and grow on an ongoing basis. Regular communications and development, having coaching conversations is essential. Brilliant. And not to mention all the other amazing things, happier teams, more engaged teams, more resilient teams, better performance, amazing conversations, sense of empowerment, you know, all the fabulous things that you have highlighted that are the impact and outcome of any kind of coaching approach to leadership or taking a coaching culture into your organization. 
Holly, thank you so much. It's been such an insightful conversation once again. I really appreciate your time. Uh, folks, if you have any questions, if you'd like to know a little bit more about our coach training programs, please feel free to send us a DM to myself or Holly, and we will respond to all your questions. We can send you prospectus. We can send you any kind of details that you want. And we'll leave you with this. If you start your coaching journey. <laughs> Thank you so much, Holly. Thanks, Pino. Lovely to see you. You too.